So I think I've decided what I want to do is a journey to the past. So I want to do the, um, find the second part of my father's testament. Um, and do that. And I just realized I still have to do this stuff. Like find the exceptional restaurant, find, locate Emily's house. Where is the exceptional restaurant? Because we know where, oh. Oh, there's a few things to do here. Oh, so I could do, let's, let's head up this way, right? So we have to go there in order to go here. So we'll do both of those at the same time. And on top of that, where is her house? It is there. Okay, so that that's not so bad. So we'll track this and we'll head up to the area. I, I kind of want to get as much done here as I possibly can before heading up or down to go talk to all the other people. I have a feeling, and this is a good thing, that we're going to do a lot of XP related stuff. Get a lot of XP before we end up resting. It's going to be a while before we rest. And I think that's only good for us. Can I get into there? No. I can't take these dudes out though. We may as well. What's up, boys? Don't come closer. I don't know what you're talking about. Not definitely not gonna do any of Ow, this. The, ow, stop shooting me. Surprise! It's a weapon though. <laughs> I should try that shotgun out. I really should. But the mace, the mace is just so strong. Oh yeah, some guys in there. You know what? Because I know I'm not really working on that one at this point. Wow, I've got a lot of, uh, let's go back to that map. Got a, got a lot of random markers up over there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Let's go here. Let's track this because we are searching in this little area for his thing. Not that I think we're gonna necessarily find it. Um, but we may as well look around. That doesn't look ominous at all. You're mine. Whoa, jeez. Whew, came out of nowhere. Surprise. Bite him. I would say, no, my dear friend, you are mine. <laughs> Give me that tiny good handle part. What is this? Why is that all like, can we go in here? Is this what I'm looking for, a restaurant? What's this? Some loot. Hello? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Do you need help, sir? I think I'm fine. But what happened to my jailer? Be careful. He's as vicious as he is strong. You don't have to worry about him anymore. Uh, oh. What happened here? I am Tadao Kimura. I was imprisoned by this lunatic for several days. I thought I was going to die here. You're not going to die now, Mr. Kimura. If you hurry, you should be able to get home safely. It seems that I owe you my life. You have all my gratitude, Dr. Reed, since it is the most precious thing I possess. Uh, does he need help? No, he's healthy. Oh, cool. Goodbye, Mr. Kimura. Take care. So, we just saved this guy, which I didn't even know needs saving, but he's... Wait, investigation succeeded. Hold up. So, we just met a new guy. And we did that? Oh, no, that was a different kind of... Okay. Well, we want to continue tracking that one, which we have not succeeded on yet. But it does look like he owns like a restaurant here, so maybe we succeeded. We're gonna. <laughs> I saved you. Now I'm gonna steal all your stuff. Ooh, what's that? The heresy of pure blood. Pure blood. We know the expression. We hear it. We heard it in the foul mouth of the heretics, and the foreign barbarians used it sometimes ourselves. But do we really know? what it means. A vampire born from an immortal belly. What a disgusting idea. How would such a creature find its place among the livings? What would be its purpose? Ours is clear, gentlemen. Ascalon is here to protect the empire and all its citizens. We are the protectors and the shepherds, even when sometimes sacrifice 
Uh, even when sometimes sacrifice a sheep for our sustenance. I see. Uh, whoever will be found guilty of scumbling, uh, succumbing rather, dyslexia, it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough thing, to the desire of breeding immortal children shall be eradicated from the law of Ascalon by Lord Redgrave. Curious. Oh, this music is so freaking good. I love the music in this game. One of the best soundtracks of the year for sure. Calendar. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Why does that look like? It looks like a guillotine for a second there. It's a coat hanger, though. What else we got? Ooh, we can go up here. Is there going to be, like, more people that I need to save? Okay, that's outside my house, right? Yeah. I don't think I need to do any of that. But, ooh. Wait a second. Wait a tick. Let's go up here. And then over here. Okay, nothing special. But, hey, it was worth trying. I think maybe the restaurant is in here and we know that there's several baddies. Ooh, there's even guys up there. Can I get upstairs? From here? Hello, sir. Can I ooh, be on your way out. You don't know what you're talking See about. You Surprise. Direct. Am I still in combat? I think I am with the dudes downstairs. Um, I think the best way to get down is to just run this direction and then hop down like this. Surprise! So back it up so I don't get hit by that. Smack him around. I love this game. It is so much freaking fun. I think I I was I was in a situation where I felt really harsh on the combat for a while because it was it was kind of difficult and it still is kind of difficult. Obviously, it's made a lot easier by the fact that I have found a crazy weapon that suits my playstyle very well and has significantly altered how I feel about combat in the game. Right. So that aside. It does kind of feel like I was maybe a bit too critical on a game that uh, inevitably grew on me quite well. I, I love this game. I think it's easily up there with some of my games of this year. P potentially the game of the year. We'll see when we get to the end of it. And when it comes down to the combat, I was really harsh and not fair to it at the beginning. But I'm in a situation now where I'm feeling like um more braille. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. An unreadable text written in braille alphabet, just the title Roman alphabet. Cure for blindness. Oh right, that guy. I forgot about that guy. The blindness guy. Okay, so we gotta go back to him over in like Whitechapel. He was like, um, off in this area. Anyways, so I feel like I was a little too harsh on the game when it first launched on the combat. But now that I, now that I understand the combat, I'm a lot more down with it. And that could very easily just be, ooh, the blind gourmet's menu. A restaurant where the guests are blindfolded before being seated. Intriguing. Curious. Reports. To him. Okay, so I finished that. So let's track this one, because that's the next closest thing. But I do want to look around here. It was upstairs. Did I look on this side? I don't know if I did. Is it here? And then, uh, not that this guy should be visiting this restaurant. It's not the best at the moment. Double, good to double barreled shotgun. Not nearly as good as the one that I have, though, I don't think. Was that loot? That looked like loot. No, it was a mirror. Handprint. <laughs> so very clearly some dead people here. Is there anything on this side? Nope. Okay, let's go downstairs on this side and see if there's anything that I could loot. Anyways, my long drawn out point is that I was too harsh on the combat when I first started because I knew little to 
nothing about it. And now that I'm more educated in the combat of how it flows and how to best attack enemies, because these aren't typically my kind of games, these kind of like action games, um, even though I do enjoy them, I tend to stick to more traditional RPGs. Um, I feel like I, I've understood it now and I enjoy the combat way better. And it's like legitimately fun to play. That's the big thing. This game is extremely fun to play when you get it. Once it clicks. Can't get into there. That's quarantine zone. That it goes up over there, which we've never been able to get into. Not even from Whitechapel. So curious about that. Can I actually read this? Influenza, stay at home. And this is just quarantine. Okay. I'm sure I will have a mission that takes me there at one point or another. Let's go into the area here. Now, I can pretty much guarantee... Yeah, like I said, I can pretty much guarantee that there's going to be enemies in here. And I need to look around for any kind of clue as to... Oh, wait, there's a hunter here? It's like tons of skulls. What are you doing, bro? You ain't even doing your job. Give me your blood. Let me hit you some more. Ow. There we go. Weapon too strong. Upgrading it, I think it helped quite a bit. So I just need to look around for whatever this clue is. Oop, hello. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Ow. Okay, let's just close in on him. It's only tick the hits. Jeez. Yeah, I hear you down there. I'll come find you in a second. Let me take care of this other guy. Oh, can I bite him? Over nope. There. I wasn't quick enough. Ow. Bite him. Nice. I should regenerate my health just from the bite alone, so I'm not too concerned about using heal to drain any of my blood. This looks like an easy way into here. That I'm going to go to the gate. Just kind of taking a look around. Can I unlock this? I don't think it was locked, but no, because I had come in here before. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. But I will kill this one, this skull here. Hello, surprise. Get wrecked, skull. Okay, not enough to finish her. That did it, though. She blew up. Is there any loot around here? <sighs> I'm expecting something to be like, hey, this is what your father left behind you, dummy. But I'm not also expecting to be like in the middle of everything because that would be silly. If it's like a trash can. Your father left this trash can behind. <laughs> I'm not, again, I'm not expecting that, but we'll, we'll see how this all pans out. Surprise. <laughs> I love the combat. And I'm gonna die. This game. Oh gosh, this is this is just the best. Correct. Okay, we're gonna back up. We're gonna hit him with this. Get off me. Bruh. Okay, they're dead. Give me that coin. Did he leave this book for me? Oh, of course he didn't. There was actually like a document that he did leave. So maybe I should look at that real quick. Actually, that's a great idea. Cause I haven't been doing any of that. Where do I look at the documents? Uh, maybe not. If I go here and then go to details, I've discovered, discovered a part of my father's testament. Maybe if I take time to investigate further, we find out what, okay. Nope, I'm not gonna find anything there. I'm sure there is a way to go look back at the document that I saw, but who really knows? This is really pretty right here. And we got a gazebo. We got our skulls or something up here. Is that a vampire? Might be a vampire. Loot. Please loot. Can't see anything here. Definitely a body. Thick, sturdy blood sample, huh? 
Um, what was that under? Oh, well, it's not going to show me, I guess. But look, I got a blood sample. There it is. A small dose of thick, sturdy blood sample that could be used to create regeneration serum for vampires. Okay, so I, I can get that third tier of healing, I think. I'm going to avoid him for the time being, just real quick. I'm going to look in here. Looks like he's taking these guys out. Hello? No. There we go. Jeez, he just freaking scared the crap out of me by doing that. Ow. Yeah, to you too, bro. I don't have enough stamina to heal or to attack. Bite him. He's very yah. Yah. Watch that. At least healed. Good trigger part. Yay. Ooh, where does that go? Oh, that's curious. There's like, um, okay, hold on. Is there anything over here? First and foremost, we're going to look this way. Where, where does my map? That's, that's basically where the map ends. Okay. Who's that loot? No, that's a, that's a stool. <laughs> Def definitely not loot. This goes into the sewers. Curious. And it's quarantined. Very curious. I wonder if I should go down there. Maybe that's where I need to go. I doubt it, but it might be worth looking. There's a area up there that I could go. And it looks like for the most part, I don't have um, many options here. Cause I know I need to look around somewhere here. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go see what's in this area. There's some skulls. Ooh, there's a safe area. Right? Yeah, new hideout unlocked. Cool. Oh well, then let's um. While I'm here, we may as well go do this. So we're gonna an analyze. Got that. Cool. Done. Just need one more. There's one other thing that I could. I'm gonna look at this for a second. I just realized that there's a whole other thing down here that I haven't even found, whatever recipe that is. Uh, let's check out the rest of the hideout. Some shillings. Some loot. A chest. Some more loot. Go upstairs. Beware. Got a bed. Plant. And uh, that. Okay. Can I go out this door? Where's this gonna take me? Back outside. Oh, curious. Okay, so I can get into the safe house from up here too. Ooh, I just, that was really creepy. There was like a, a reflection from the window. Ooh, what's that? There has been a fight here. I can see a blood trail. Left by one of the antagonists, perhaps? Ooh, like father, like daughter. There's a dude down there. So, hold on. So th th these are going this way. It goes out. Do I just jump down? That doesn't seem safe. That's a long fall. Where does that even go? Outside of the map. Hello? Hi, Skull. Too. I'm gonna have to watch out for this one when it blows up. Almost forgot. <laughs> I have officially exited my initial search area, and now I have no idea where I'm at.